You don't think that's a good thing? I was just going to surprise you guys and like start live streaming from Kuwait one day. In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups. The one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These are the archives. I look like a stuffed burrito. The new guy texting? Well, I have been seeing somebody and they are, um, it's just kind of really gone really fast. And we've been talking a lot, like video, pretty much all night since we've met. So I've been really busy just like talking and he plays music for me at night. Like we have a little routine. We like, you know, have some time alone and then he'll play music for me. He's like, maybe I could play music for your videos sometime. Would you guys like that? Anyway, we really hit it off. Um, he is Syrian, so um, I'm going to be keeping this relationship very private for now. We plan on um, eventually doing some traveling videos together. He's around my age, so it's really perfect. He has a really good job. Um, I want to admit something to you guys, but I don't know if you'll understand. <clears throat> so this is why I'm dressed more conservative today. <laughs> um, I, I like that. I kind of like that. Um, there are things I liked about being in a relationship with an Arabic man, I realize now. Um, I think I, I really like the... I find, it, I find traditionally Arabic men are more take care of a woman, like regardless of your, you know, like, he, like, for example, just as an example, like if you want to spend more time with me, for example, this situation, I'm just understanding better because I notice it's a pattern. So for example, if I say, um, I think I'm going to go for a, a little while and he'll say, oh, well, do you want to spend, you know, like spend a few more minutes with me, baby or whatever. Um, some people will see that as a red flag or see it as like needy. You know what I mean? In some, yes, in some instances, if it's like very, very insistent and persists, but you could also see it as like, I like that. Like I find, I find like what I've encountered with Arabic males, like the attitude is like the, the male role of like taking care of the woman, like, cause he'll be like, you know, anything I can provide you with anything, you know, like just say the word, everything like a uh, future money. Like you don't have to, you know, like they take care of their woman, you know, like they, it's the traditional value is something. It's like the con not <laughs> the conservative um, nature of it. I kind of, I'm kind of liking right now at this point in my life. Um, the idea of having an actual husband to take care of me as a wife and like have that mutual bond of respect and built on va actual values other than just, you know, sex and um, you know, you know, valuing you as a role as a person to contributing to the relationship as like a wife. And, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Is this why you were going to buy a hijab a few days ago? I was looking, but because I don't know, I've been like, you know, it's just I've been. Are you not in here? Why not? No, <laughs> I'm not converting to Islam. No, I'm, that's not uh, in the in the plans. <laughs> but there's some things about the culture that um, are ingrained within him that I respect. Um, that I know if I'm going to date an Arabic Muslim male, I'm going to know that they're going to want me to dress conservatively as being uh, their wife or being with them. I'm not going to, you know, that that's just something respectful. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just, you know, no, no, not, um, well, some, some parts. Yeah. Emerald some mostly, um, where he's from, not, it's not like that. Um, <clears throat> he's actually in, living in Kuwait. Um, so it's actually a lot more liberal than, you know, but it's still, yeah, it's still Islamic country. Yeah. But I, I talked about those concerns because I, you know, my concerns with that. And, but that's a part, there's parts that, you know, I don't know. So anyways. Oh my God, you're going too far. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> VJP. Oh, sorry. What do you mean? Like in regards to what I just revealed? <laughs> Chantal, you're so lost and this isn't good for you. Hmm? Stop sending your Tinder to 5 million. I just said it on global. 
And he added me on WhatsApp, and now he wants to buy me a ticket to come, like, in two weeks to, like, buy a ring. He has, like, a really- he wants to, like, just me to move in his house in, like, Kuwait for, like, a month. He wants to buy me a ticket for a month to go to his house. <laughs> and he wants to get married, but he's, like, almost perfect in every way. And the way he talks about, like, the way, like, I can't, I can't explain it. You'd have to have experience with Arabic men to understand. <laughs> you don't think that's a good thing? I was just going to surprise you guys and, like, start live streaming from Kuwait one day. <laughs> How much does he charge? <laughs> it's comparable to that. <laughs> no, I mean, I would just be, like, come live here. We would just, he's like, you don't have to, when you get here, you don't have to worry about anything. You live here, you don't have to worry about driving, I have a car, you don't have to worry about, like, the men in that culture take care of everything. And you know what? I fucking love that. I want to be taken care of, guys. You know, it's nice to be worshipped. He calls me goddess and he's like, I love it. Marry an Arabic woman and save her. But it would, I don't know, he says it would be safe because I would be with him, but his culture is different because he does want me to, you know, I had that dress on and it was like low and he's like, <clears throat> I had to go, I went to the dryer four times to find something appropriate to wear. I have nothing appropriate to wear in my house. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. French fried gremlin. Oh my god, I love it. Yes. She does resemble. No, she does sat her demeanor as gremlinish. Here's the thing. It is absolutely outlandish. Outland so here what here's what the plan let me just run it by you quickly. And you can let me know what you think. But listen to the whole story, okay? If I tell you the whole story, you have to listen patiently before you give me your two cents. Okay, let's order something first. <laughs> before oh I have him as my background. He's so beautiful. No, no, he speaks very good English. That's the thing. Um, this man is very, very smart. Has a very good job. Makes good money. Has his own place. Has a good, nice car. Drives very well. Is very confident. I like the way he's very... Oh, and looks-wise, he's perfect. He's an Adonis body. Like, looks-wise, he's a younger, more vibrant Tony. Like beautiful hair and beard black and beautiful teeth and and looks at me and just like I can't wait till you're here baby and just his body and oh fuck. and the way he just makes me feel like I'll be safe with him but no it's not married guy no 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 he's not ugly and you guys will definitely agree fly him over make him come to you well he's gonna pay for me to go there like he wants to fully take care of me as his wife like fully a kind of appealing it feels to me down under Chantel. No, nope. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks down under for the super chat. I feel bad. You didn't have to send that. I don't want you guys to freak out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. That's why I really didn't want to say anything and kept with keeping any everything under wraps. But at the same time, this is why I talk about things on my channel because I talk about things that are, make me a bit nervous and I know that I don't really have proper judgment all the time. Muslim men can care marry four women. Oh yeah. And I can't have children. So yeah, he probably would have another wife. Would I be okay with that? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God, no. Maybe. I feel bad even talking about it, but I'm not being disrespectful or anything. I'm just... Yeah, I'm not all happy. Meal. <laughs> I'm not abandoning my cat. I'm still here. I wish you never called the <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. That is so <laughs> That is not my boyfriend. Uh, what the fuck? Coffee first. How long have you been talking to him? I'm only kidding, guys. <clears throat> I probably, you know what? I think I'm gonna be in so much shit. I think I think I accidentally doxed him because I think whenever I said where he's from, I I told him not to. No, 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 I didn't. I'd rather watch you and P get it on than believe your lies about another Adonis prince. I'm telling you. You guys, there's so many men in the world. Okay, do you know how many men there are in the world? A lot. 
Look at my boobs. I can't talk about boobs either. Once he's here, it's by Felicia. <laughs> yeah, there's always that thought too, but especially people who want to marry right away. Um, he's open to moving to Canada, but he seems like he wants me to move there. No more FUBA flashes. <laughs> no, it would be, I would be like, honestly, what it would look like is. Honestly, if that happened, I would be um, setting up Pete's in his own place with the cats and going to Kuwait for uh, until Christmas and um, not moving into that house. That would be the scenario, but that's, I don't know, like, that's a really, that's drastic change. That's a really, I know, that's the thing. I'm not saying I'm doing that, but that's what would have to happen. It's really drastic. And I just, I'm so bored with life that I just, I, you know, <laughs> why the hell not? But it's really, yeah, I know, I know it's, this is why I talk to you guys about things. You guys can help me reason through things and I don't think. <laughs> this is insane. So I find that men from certain cultures, they want to like control every part. So I kind of understand that better now. Like as a cultural thing, they want to control every single part. Not like, well, yeah. Like the basic, basic like likings, preferences. Actually, these are things that are pretty much non-negotiable with what I've found when, when I've dealt with most Arabic me me uh, men. And this is fine to talk about it. We can be open discussion without being prejudiced and rude and hateful. Because this is what I, this is my experience. And you can tell me if I'm wrong or not. Like, fine. I noticed they want you to be very covered up, conservative, like no showing uh, certain areas like breast and, and like legs, like all that is their private, you're, you know, private, not property, but property, like, you know, you're their woman. So, and you're, they're your man and you're both loyal to each other. Or whatever. That would be our understanding, apparently. Fuck that. <laughs> um, yeah, so a lot, a lot of women, especially from this part of the world, wouldn't be okay with that. But yeah, that's one of the things I've noticed, which I don't usually, but... Um, I mean, it's not something I really mind, because there are nice clothes. I actually feel more confident a little bit. More covered up, actually. Like, I like the... I do. I don't know why, but... Yeah, there's something... I don't know. More classy and clean about it. I think it's more clean. I don't know. The pants and... He was just like, do you have any pants? And it's true. It's like, yeah, I don't know. And then, um, yeah, so. What's 9.4? What? Is that the McDonald's sauce? <laughs> Stop it! I knew it. That's, I knew that number. 9.49. Oh. Oh, I thought that was the McDon amount of people served at McDonald's. 9.49 million single males in Canada. <laughs> but then none of them are him. Do you like that idea of two people like completely worshiping each other? Or is that kind of weird and intense for you guys? I love this candle. Let's order. Do you really want to be controlled though? Like what am I? What am I getting? Connors? How much soda do I have? Connors, you can't ever get anything. We need to meet him. No, it's not the married man. I've only known this guy for like two days. <laughs> and he wants to fly me out like next week and get married. He has a two week vacation from work. And he he's like, I'll just pay for a ticket for you. You don't have to pay for anything when you're here. He's like, I'll order his food every day. <laughs> Sherry. And then... I like that idea of not even having to drive anymore. He has a really nice car and a good job. And I could live stream from there. It would be so interesting, but life would be so conservative. And I find, like, a little bit Arabic men are very... Like, I like... like they're kind of controlling. Like, I think he, like, he made a joke, like, when he saw my, my legs, like, with my dress. He's like, I will kill you. <laughs> like, as a joke... I was like, oh, <laughs> but I just watched like documentaries on like some men like killing their wives for, it's not funny, but like femicide is a real thing. So I was like, fucking, it made me think of that and it kind of got scared. <laughs> I'm not accusing anybody, but I was like thinking of that. There's a lot of cultural differences. You know what I mean?
in. Who? Do you guys have to be like this invasive in my life? <laughs> no! You better be nice or I'm kicking your ass out here, lady. And I'm not giving you an arm wiggle till you earn one. He replied to his comment. I knew doing that I was gonna fucking shoot myself in the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he might just be another boyfriend for a day now. <laughs> I mean, look, it's probably going to be virtually impossible. I'm realizing this by experience. And I realize, I realize now, even if Nader wasn't the way he was, the fact that he's an Arabic male um, is also something that's challenging to deal with as somebody from this part of the world, I find. Just because it's more, way more conservative, like, you know. You have to dress very conservatively and, and cover up and everything. Honestly, I was really contemplating after the move going to Kuwait. <laughs> Just being spontaneous, but I'm like... There are still countries, though, that are really under strict, like, Sharia, is it Sharia law or whatever it's called? And, like, strict Islamic rule that, you know, women, there's a lot of misogyny and... Pakistan is the most dangerous country. Who cares? That is fat shaming and I will block your ass, so get over it. Who cares? Um, I'm not afraid to be fat and go somewhere else in the world. But yes, you're right. Okay, uh, that's her asshole way of saying uh, you, you're too fat for Kuwait. Which, yeah, I do have concerns actually about being not healthy. <clears throat> CPEP res rescue in Kuwait 2.0 incoming. Not move to Kuwait, but go for like two weeks. But <laughs> because you know, you guys know I will do it too. <laughs> you know, I'm crazy. Why am I like this? Why not? Why do I have to live so formulaically? Why can't I decide one day if a man offers me to come to Kuwait and I want to do it? Because it's really, I would be abandoning a lot here. You're right. I know. That's another thing I find about Arabic men. They want like they're, and, and Nader was like that. They're all encompassing. Like they, you know, but I also love that about it because I like, all encompassing attention whenever I have it. Oh, I'm so fucked up. Why am I like looking for weird? Am I looking for? Am I looking for abusive traits? What the fuck? Seriously. I need therapy. I'm supposed to move to. I'm supposed to go to Kuwait <coughs> to get married. <laughs> Excuse me, and that's why I'm dressed conservative tonight, but I kind of like it. I think it looks better if I'm covered up. Do you think so? I don't know. It's more mature. You can wear like a hijab and... Because I would have to wear a hijab if I went there. Yeah, I would have to cover myself. Weed possession is two years in jail in Kuwait. I know. Like, he really looks down on it. Just like maintain, yeah. Very, yeah, very strict. Very. Stop looking for an outer replacement. No, I'm just saying, you know, like, that's similar, but it's, it might, I don't know. Because there's, like, actual femicide down there. If you cheat or something, I don't know, I have to look up the laws. Like, if you cheat, I think they can, like, do something to you. <laughs> I'm not a cheat, I would never, uh, fuck that. I guess that's one way of ensuring people don't cheat. Fuck, I, I mean, there's no dick worth death penalty, I'm sorry, there's none. So, I'm not gonna cheat if you're gonna kill me. <laughs> I know. No, I wouldn't anyway, but definitely not if you're going to kill me after. No. <laughs> I'm not condoning that. I'm just making a joke, but sad big bird. Do you just wake up every morning <laughs> and decide which character to be? Yeah. You know what? I honestly changed my mind about so many things in my life throughout the whole day. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> oh, I need help. Can somebody just ab abduct me and bring me to a lab somewhere? If you have enough paneer. And Nashes, I'll stay with you a lifetime and you can study my brain. There's no dick worth death penalty. It's true, Jake. I'm gonna order, yeah. What? Arabic men hate westerns, just so you know. If he wants you out of all the beautiful Arabic... What? He seems to really... He's really into me, like, as a... He wants to chat... We chat, like, 
for hours all night. I've never had conversation like that with someone. Speaks very fluent English. He has a nice place. He looks like a, a younger Tony and he has the same red lights. <laughs> he, he plays keyboard very well. He's really nice. But... Yeah, I mean, you'd have to accept. Because I know you'd have to accept knowing that culture. What you would be going in with. So I, I, I know... You know... But I can see some things that are very Nader-esque, for sure. I know, it's the same blah blah, Courtney. I know, that's why I didn't even want to tell any say anything. I really shouldn't have. Why do I always do this to myself? <laughs> uh, I just, because I want to talk. I want to come on here and talk about things I do in my life. I just don't want everyone to who else is involved to be harassed. I found the one. Well, that's the thing. Like, if I'm going to get married, you guys are going to know about it. Um, he's open to moving to Canada, but he seems like he wants me to move there. I'm not going to let you do what you want. Why are you so stupid? Well, maybe, is that such a bad thing? I mean, like, maybe I don't need to be, be like, being so irresponsible anymore anyways. Are you for real? No, that's, a, okay. So I'm taking it. Okay, okay. Red flag. If Sherry, chaperone Sherry is freaking out. <laughs> all right, I won't give you guys a heart attack. All right, all right. <laughs> Don't do it if your butt crack shows once. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> it's not funny, but imagine. I, I end up on a fucking Keffer bottle. and fucking missing Keffer bottle in fucking Kuwait because I poop a flash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. We gotta see for you too. We gotta see for you too. Yeah. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. How much I don't love you. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I love you guys. I actually do. So please don't take my sunshine up with me. <laughs> I just have to laugh. <laughs> when I laugh, it goes off. Trolling queen? I'm not trolling, I'm serious. I have his picture of my screensaver right now. And I was ready to go to Kuwait. I have the flight, I can show you everything. Ugh. I'm pretty sure marriage for show is old nanny is, you know, marriage. I don't think I'm the woman that, uh... I'm never gonna get a husband if I just want to dress like this to 180. <laughs> or at least I get a husband who wants to do that with me. I'm not t the thing is, is I'm like, I'm typically attracted to my opposite. Like, I'm, I'm typically attracted, like, sexually, physically, animalistically to men that are, like, more domineering in bed. But then that also freaks me out. Because then they're also domineering in life. So I basically like a man to be domineering. But I do like a man to be sort of domineering in life. But they're never just sort of. They're always all in, like, obsessively, weirdly. <clears throat> animalistically... Okay, what are we eating? Fuck, I'm always hungry. Time to change my nails soon. Bam on the run. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Bam on the run. So I think I'm gonna go sing pathetic at Canada's Got Talent. And I want them to do the sad piano music for my sob story about BBJ. I'm just joking. <laughs> I should write a manual on how to be the most hated person online. What? I wasn't asexual. Oh, with BB, uh, no. He knows he likes me. He doesn't mind my weight at all. Look at my eyes. So at least there's that. And he said we can order food and play video games. And I can live stream while he's at work. So, why not? Chantal, you deserve to be happy with a dom, even if that's what you want. But you can get that while being protected under the law here in Canada. Yeah. Desert Highway. 
Do you guys like these lashes? Yeah or nay? Why does he want to marry me? He says I'm the ideal woman for him. My type, the way I talk, so in, like articulately with him, the way I'm willing to adapt and be open-minded to his not demand. Well, yeah, I mean, they, like I have to. I accept that being attracted to Arabic men, some cultures that means they're more demanding. Like I had, you know, and I had that problem. I had problems with that with Nader. So that's why I'm kind of like, oh my god, is this Nader all over again? <laughs> Before I even know what I'm doing, like my head is spinning right now. So. <laughs> I feel so delusional, but at the same time, I feel like you'd have to really understand my personality. <laughs> I'm also sitting here with a fucking mullet and a fake stash, shit stash on, so, I mean, glued with eyelash glue. So, you know, I'm not normal. <laughs> and I don't like normal. It's boring. And then the Mary guys was giving me shit. I know, I should have blocked him a long time ago. I finally did. <laughs> I block and unblock, okay? I don't know if you guys do that, but... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm... <laughs> I really just... I need to enter a nunnery. Let me look this up here. Nunnery bees entering a convent in Orleans, Ontario. Convent Glen Orleans Wood Community Association... Uh, cloistered nuns. What the fuck? Old Ottawa South. Ooh. Lost you. Mental institution bees. This is hurting. Ow. What a 9.9. .9. Is she done with the Kuwait guy yet? <laughs> oh. Stop. He's my phone background. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I keep trying to order food and I keep getting distracted by fuck. Okay. Oh. <laughs> We're on pork! So either Kuwait, none, or married dude. <laughs> okay, what about the other options? Sorry, guys. I love you. Okay, what are we ordering? Okay, where's... Uh, who wants to order? What are we getting? I know we're Groundhog Day. Are we getting pot pie or no? What else is open? There's Dawn Burrito, McDonald's, a and W. Can you picture us Nissan bees in together? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so weird right now. Hey, Lash. I'm already gonna be running out of my first candle from them. Dang it. She just won't work there. Everyone asks them if I can have a job. I'm just kidding. Connors, they're preparing my order. Poor Connors. Do you want me to read one more page? No, I'm just joking. Did you order the tub of Carabelle? No, but I'm going to someday. I just really want Connors tonight. And no, I'm not sorry about raging earlier because I have a fucking reason to be uh, uh, discussing what I did. You would be freaking raging too if you had sleaze bags. That's what she is. And her whole team of fucking gremlins. They're sleaze bags. Smoky sleaze bags. Why <laughs> <clears throat> a shamer? What's your fucking bag? I guess I'm shaming her. Anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for just hanging out and just beezing sometimes. Most of the time now, actually. <laughs> Sherry, I don't know. I don't. You know what, Sherry? I don't think I'm on the right meds because I don't seem to make decisions that are very. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I mean, I like to be spontaneous. I love this eye These eyelashes. I want to take a picture and send. Don't look at my selfie face. I know, I know, I know. I need to prioritize my life instead of sending selfies. Hi, Pete. Everyone say hi, everybody. Pete's run where? Where's Pete's gonna run to? Never, never. They don't, they don't care as long as uh, as long as I'm off camera. Unicorn poop. As long as you're off camera. Yeah, that's why they tell me to run. They want me away. They want me gone. Um, why do you guys get to choose? They don't get to choose. That's why I'm not going anywhere yet. <laughs> there you go, guys. I'm staying to spite the people who were telling me to leave. There you go. There you go. Oh, it's so freeing. All right, now I'm gonna leave. 
<laughs> hey. Okay. I wanted to say hi. Well, hi. Post card update coming along nicely. Oh, she loves you. No, it's not the married man. I've only known this guy for like two days. <laughs> And he wants to fly me out, like, next week and get married. He has a two-week vacation from work. And he he's like, I'll just pay for a ticket for you. You don't have to pay for anything when you're here. He's like, I'll order his food every day. <laughs> Sherry. And then... I like that idea of not even having to drive anymore. He has a really nice car and a good job. And I could live stream from there. It would be so interesting. But life would be so conservative. And I find like a little bit Arabic men are very like I like they're kind of controlling. Like I think like he made a joke like when he saw my, my legs like with my dress. He's like I will kill you <laughs> like as a joke. I was like oh. <laughs> but I just watched like documentaries on like some men like killing their wives. For, it's not funny but like femicide is a real thing. So I was like fucking it made me think of that and I kind of got scared. <laughs> I'm not accusing anybody, but I was, like, thinking of that. There's a lot of cultural differences. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't do it if your butt crack shows once. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> it's not funny, but imagine. I end up on a fucking Keffer bottle and fucking missing Keffer bottle in fucking Kuwait because I poop a flash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you don't think that's a good thing I was just going to surprise you guys and like start live streaming from Kuwait one day they don't get the juice that's why I'm not going anywhere yet <laughs> there you go guys I'm staying to spite the people who were telling me to leave there you go there you go oh it's so freeing Alright, now I'm gonna leave. <laughs> hey, no kidding. I just wanted to say hi. Well, hi. Postcard update coming along nicely. Oh, she loves you. I don't know. You like them? Oh, that's too bad. Oh. Shit. That's great. Long life, though. I know, my ears are not visible from the front. That's why I go from the side. Who's Jake? I missed that. <clears throat> There's some personalities I'm definitely more attracted to than others. This guy's personality is great. So far. I think. <sighs> I'm sorry. I know I do dumb things. I... But I don't think of it that way. I don't think of it the same way that you guys think of it. I'm mixing. I'm making a cocktail. Death Bubba, Unicorn Poop, and Celebrity. Or, um, Dirk Jiggler. Dirk Jiggler, Unicorn Poop, and Death Bubba. And... Maybe this is happening to teach me a lesson. Like, if you don't learn your lesson fully, you'll repeat the same things. Maybe I'll take my character back until you need it again in five oh. minutes. No, I'll be, it should be okay for now for the night. Thanks. Um, it makes you realize, like... What was I... So, like, you're going to keep learning things, repeating things, so... Looking for certain things until you learn, you know. 
I don't know. Oh, I never. It's like I never learn. I never learn. I never learn. She likes some lean, mean, and from Lachine. Oh my god! That was the fucking perfect rhyme, though. No, that's not true. I'm not saying I like Natter. I'm just saying, like. I never follow through with anything. Yet. I will. I'm going through a hard. I'm just really struggling to do anything, okay? Maybe I shouldn't make. I just like to think that I'm able to, like, do things and then I overestimate my abilities every, all the time. I like this grinder. Whole gaze and grinder. I don't like this fucking. I don't like that, like, six cones cost six dollars. <laughs> and I told you the striking would be- would take some time. And I don't even know what I'm doing with that exactly. I said I was going to figure it out behind the scenes, so. More single men here in Canada than the entire population of Your name is killing me. For real? Oh my god. Okay. Nine million single men? Really? How do you know there's that many single men? I guess it's lucky that some of them fill out the consensus. Hey, Stank Jordy! I like some of the names you guys come up with. Why do people always try to give me advice and stuff? Because I need it? I hate advice, but I like it. I don't know, like, I'm so... Impossible. I hate it. It's chaotic. Grow up, druggy. Why do people shame people for everything? I mean, I have done it too, so. But why, as people, we do that? I'm not excluding myself when I ask these questions <laughs> a lot of the time. Oh. I know, these are the most boring pieces. Okay, what kind of stencil are we going to get? I wonder if they have... If we go to Spirit Halloween, they probably have really cool but expensive stencils. Thanks for super chip. Just because I reply to someone on Instagram doesn't mean it's them. I reply to a lot of guys. I reply to guys. I usually reply with a heart to, <laughs> to guys who leave flirty things on my Instagram. So. <laughs> It was on Kiwi Farms, my address and personal info was thing, but thing uh, pictures of my kids on there, sickening. That is really fucking, that's like, that is so, oh my god, that like, that should be illegal to do that to someone. Like, for real, illegal. Like, think about it. Ugh. Like, where is that even okay? Nine point four. I know I was, but still, it still doesn't mean that what they do is okay. Like when it comes to that, putting pictures of kids, like reading about, you know. But yeah, I know it's still technically supporting them. But okay, let me see because Connors doesn't have drinks. No, I'm just joking. I'm still going to bed right after. Who is that? What? You came back after all what happened? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> after all what happened? I was accused of fucking a married man. Not knowing the whole story. I'm kidding. 
Oh, are you talking about that? Yeah, I wish I knew everything about doxing. Then that I know now it is very important to remain anonymous. Well, that's a thing, Holly. It's true. Like, a lot of people don't know about it. And that's, like, that's an, a targeted attack. Like, putting someone's personal information and ridiculing their family when they know that's painful to someone is fucking stupid and should be illegal to do. Like, that is horrifying. Like, that's, like, tra that can be traumatic to people. Like, how do people, like, find that okay to do to people? Like, I, I don't know. It's just crazy. And the thing is, is that they think that it reflects any of it on anybody else. You know what I mean? <sighs> okay. So. Who's that hot guy? Yummy. I'll take that guy. I agree, Chantel. You have experienced it far worse than any of us on here. I can't imagine. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, okay, Gold Star, it's totally the same. It's totally the same for wanting your tormentors to fucking, you know, to lash out at them after they've attacked, they've come after you emotionally for so long. Yeah, it's totally the same. You all who you all who fucking pick at these little things like annoying fucking little flies on sweaters need a life. You need a fucking job and a life. Big time. It's really fucking annoying and sad. That's my point. I don't need some fucking bullfrog bitch cackling about my fucking aunt. And putting her watermark on my fucking no, she's going down. Just watch. You can be all fucking smug all you want somewhere else. Sorry, but after what Big D did to her, I don't care about that. I don't either. Sorry. <laughs> no sympathy whatsoever. I mean, actually, when it comes to like losing your job, messing in her real life, like with, you know, I don't know. I don't, I'm not saying I agree with all of that, but. It's hard for me to have sympathy for somebody who fucking... It's hard for me to give a fuck, honestly, about them at all. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know, like, sometimes your humanity shines through. <laughs> you feel like, on a human level, you care for people. On a, on a, Obviously, everyone should have a basic human level caring for people. But then after that... Depends, <laughs> I guess. They pick out what you do when there are others doing the same thing. There's an outrage toward. There's no outrage towards them. Mm -hmm. You deserve to take down your tormentors, right? Pelican, pelican, butch bees. I watched that wretched thing for an hour tonight. I have never really watched her. She's out of her mind, literally. Mm -hmm. Right after. <laughs> no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she's hiding from the landlords right she's more fucking pathetic Yeah. Makes bank, but wears the same Adidas shirt every day. Mm. Yep. How would you know, Brie? Like, you're so dumb. Like, why would you even say that? Like, why would you... Go like, that's what I mean. Like, why would I have people in here who just want to fucking rub shit in? Or try to bring things down? Like, I'm just tired of it. It makes... I don't even want to be on YouTube anymore sometimes. I swear. Just because I want to come on and do my own job. Like, I don't want to talk about Natter. I don't want to talk about the fucking bullfrog. She's going to be fucking taken down. It is only a matter of time. Trust me. Trust me. If she makes so much money, why doesn't she pay the landlords? She, like, what does she think? This is going to be a fucking sustainable career? Are you fucking serious? Like, the only people, the only reason people fucking still support her is out of spite for me. That's fucking embarrassing.
Shut up, Fupa, because I'll axe you too without even thinking twice about it. I don't care. <laughs> You're more annoying than anything anyway. You know you are. <clears throat> okay, well, if you're a supporter of Kiwi Farm, goodbye. <coughs> goodbye. Like, I don't know how people... Like, the fucking world is full of sick fucks. They're not allowed in my space anymore. Period. And including FFG. Like... You have no idea, like, the amount of people who are supporting me in this, and you have no idea the amount of fucking shit she's done that I could fucking get her on. Just fucking watch, bitch. Just wait. YouTube channel, everything. Fucking watch. She sounded so vengeful and devious. Aw, what's wrong? Don't like the truth, bitch? Yeah, you don't like it when someone comes for you, bullfrog, huh? Don't like it? She literally is fucking Humpty Dumpty personified. And yes, I'm going to fucking shame her. Because all she does is fucking shame everyone else all day long. And who fucking cares? We have to say it. She's a fucking ugly motherfucker making fun of everyone else. Are you serious? We have to say it. Has anyone seen her in like person? I have. Has anyone seen her lately? Head to toe? The nerve and audacity absolutely mind-blowing mind-blowing Rebby, i mean sorry but at some point yeah i'm fucking body shaming her because you know what i'm sorry you can't fucking turn around and be like oh you're body shaming her fuck shut the fuck up and you know what i don't want this fucking bitch in my fucking chat either goodbye nanny bello you're a psycho get out of here i don't care how you try to suck my ass you're not ever welcome here ever again ever <clears throat> Some of you are never, ever welcome here. Ew, why would I let trash and shit in my chat? Why would I let shit stains in here? Do you let shit in your home? No, you've been nothing but a fucking piece of shit bully. The shit that's come out of your mouth or that you've tried to say is nasty and you're not welcome here. See you later. <laughs> what the fuck is Nan Bello? How are people surprised I have this reaction? Do you see the shit that these people say? What are we doing right now? Have you seen her stream earlier? I haven't. So she's fucking flapping her ugly, fat, smelly cigarette gums for nothing. Because I'm not going to watch her. We're beezing. Do we care what the fuck these people say? Seriously. Like, they're going to get their fucking karma. So, good luck. Good luck. She looks like an English bulldog. She really does. That's what's so stupid. Like, okay. It's never, 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 like, successful, good-looking people who make fun of other people. Never. It's a lot, Chantal. There's a whole community going after you constantly. Yeah, and they fucking revel in it. They, like, it's, it's what makes them bleed. <laughs> they're, because they're fucking dumb. Like, that's what I'm saying. You can't... There's not even any point in me raging. Because that's, like, honestly, makes them horny. That's what they, that's, that's what they get out of life. They look forward to this every day. They make channels dedicated to it. It's fucking sick. And like the fact that they're allowed on platforms and have the nerve and audacity to question my presence because I fucking smoke pot. Eat my fucking fat ass. Fuck you. <laughs> You're all going down. How's your shitty career going for you, bug-eyed? Huh? Fuck. Everyone's being outed as being a piece, bigger piece of shit. How's that going for you? Love that for you. <clears throat> yeah, where is garlic bread? Brand with his tail between his legs. Little bit of controversy. That's your own, huh? You can't handle it. Nobody can fucking handle it. <laughs> eh, Lambo. I would block him in a hurry. I want to go to fucking Spirit Alley. Sue her for defamation. It is, because, like, there's a lot of fucking idiots who believe her shit. You can't just sit up there and talk shit lies about people all day long. Where's the lies? Oh, don't worry about that. That's for the court. You only have to worry about getting there. Trust me. Trust me. 
should move to Kuwait and fucking sewer so I can save money. No. Kuwait is so cheap. Imagine. Mm. Don't worry about it. And that's caused you emotional distress. People find that funny, Stinky Anna. They find it funny to push people's boundaries. They find it funny to push people to the edge. Like, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, I know you said that again. I love you. Yeah. Oh, like, excuse me. Like, I'm sorry that I want to protect, like, myself, my family, and my income. Like, what the fuck? How dare you? Fuck you, croaky bitch. Get your own shit. High on the fact that only pe reason people fucking like her is because people hate me. Ooh, nice accomplishment in life, you fucking toad. Ugh. What, you're mad I used your ex as my fucking thumbnail? Well, you're confusing him with Natter. Not my problem. Like, she's so, like, if you look at how seething she is, especially at the beginning, inserting herself, talking about her fucking relationship, how uh, we have sex and shit. Like, have you listened to her fucking streams? A lot of you probably haven't. She's a fucking disgusting pig. She looks like one, and she talks like one, and she sounds like one. So she is one. Warthog. Warthog. Oh yeah, not a rejection rate, sure. Yeah, that's your, um, what's that called? Deflection? French fried fucking deflection? That's what that is. Always the natter deflection. <laughs> or if the fat shaming deflection is, you're a bad person, you're a Nazi. Eat shit, you're dumb. Keep your two bucks, because I'm sure you didn't finish school and you're going to need it. Oh, here we go, another intelligent one. Cracky. Meanwhile, no one ever did crack. Defamation. And that's proof of it. That's proof that people fuck the rumor she's spreading. There you go. Dumb fuckers like this are believing it. So, yes, she's going to make money and Brie. I hope you calculate how much she's going to lose when I take her to fucking court. Maybe I'll let her channel grow a bit more. Do you honestly think I'm not going to fight tooth and nail? Are you that fucking dumb? You don't know me. Call me Vindictive Lynn. You fat, shaming, hypocritical piece of shit bully. I, you go lower? Where did I ever go low? Where did I go low with her? Accidentally showing her phone number after her attacking me and my boyfriend at the time and inserting herself online to the point where we have to defend ourselves and then offering nicely to fucking change your number, you dumb fucking idiot. What else? I always fucking shut you down and no one listens because they're dumb and they don't care. So this is just proof that it's just fucking waste of breath. But she's fucking with my life and she's going to pay legally. You are going to pay. Just fucking watch, bitch. I'm looking at you right now. You're going to pay for everything. It's taking time, but it's going to happen. Trust and believe. And every time you fucking react to me or talk about my family, I will go on online and dog the fucking shit out of you every time and make even some money off of your shithole name thank you i should i honestly should just fucking try copywriting striking her to begin with and see where that goes at least i'll fucking get somewhere i don't know I look like Humpty. No, my legs are more proportioned to my body than her, dumbass. Do I have to bring up the thumbnail? Her legs are like twigs. Like this. And her body is like this. So no, that's not even and proportionate. But guess what? I'm, people here are not fucking idiots like you and don't come after people and go, oh, her body's different shaped. You think everyone's made like a fucking mannequin? Dummy fucking mannequin? Test, crash test dummies? You people are dumb. 
Everyone has different body shapes. You are subhuman. What makes people human is not the fucking shape of their body. What makes people human is not showing up at someone's fucking thing and purposely trying to ruin it because you need a fucking laugh because you're a fucking miserable piece of shit and you're dead inside. There you go. Okay. Fly to the US to sue? What are you talking about, shithead? She doesn't live in the US, you fuckhead. <sighs> And, like, why are you attacking me? Like, is it- do I not have a right to defend myself or what? I find it really fucking- fucking stupid that people get mad- that I get mad about people fucking with my life. Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. You know what? Mods just fucking block people. I'm fucking tired of it. The minute they're fucking stupid, block. Natter, block. Anything remotely dramatic, block. <laughs> Following well, she wants to be with you. Yeah, there should be, there's no reason for negativity and bullying at all. It's like, just fucking beezing or else block and stay fucking blocked and fuck off. I don't care. 200 people, let's go. Unsubscribe, I don't give a fuck anymore. Trust me, I'm so at the fucking point of care, end of fucking caring. I don't. At all. I'm tired of it. If you think it's funny to push someone to their fucking limit and try to fucking ruin their life, you're fucking stupid and you're going to get your fucking karma. And if you have kids and you're a fucking bully online, you're a piece of shit parent and you're going to get your karma. I hope your kids are never fucking bullied. And know what? That's how fucking kids become bullies. They're parents. Fuck you. No, they're not. What happened? Like, why are people giving me shit right now? For what? There's no fucking reason for people to give me shit for defending myself. Fuck off. Like, it's stupid. People need to learn fucking boundaries. And YouTube needs to learn to fucking block bullies. Yeah, Accountable Beauty is a piece of shit, too. You hateful fucking asshole. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> oh my god, why do they put so many huge onions in their soup? It's so weird. Haha, <laughs> someone's triggered. Like, what kind of fucking world do we live in where it's funny to trigger somebody with mental health issues? You're fucking sad. It is. Well, I know. It's gonna... I don't know. Anyway, let's bees, I guess. Mm. Why? There's, there's no, I don't want them to be part of my, I'm not part of any community. They've, they think, seem to have some fucking warped delusional sense of that it's, that I'm okay with what they're doing. I'm not okay with what they're doing, period, at all. Like, I never have been, you know, there's some points where I don't have a fucking choice. So yeah, I'm just going to try to fucking uh, go with it. You know, I've never been okay with people every fucking time I go live. Stream sniping my content. Making me fucking lose viewers. Income. Why the fuck wouldn't I be a, a fucking offended by that, you fucking morons? Are you fucking stupid? Yes, you are. You fucking bitch and cry and run with your tail between your legs. 
The minute shit gets bad, you fucking coward pieces of shit. Hypocrites. Yeah, and then you're going to, oh, she's, what you're going to take away from this? She's raging. Derp. Oh, I fucking hate people. And I know you guys joking about it. Don't give a fuck. Because you don't care about people. You don't care about how people feel at all. It's funny. I'm just an internet person. You don't care. How fucking tragic for me. I honestly... I'm... Seriously, I have... Offered some... I have something else I could probably do for money right now. And I seriously think I want to do it. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I'm tired of being a YouTuber. Because this is shit. If YouTube doesn't protect its creators more than this, I don't want to fucking be on here. Period. I've been putting up with this shit for five fucking years. Five years. People taking advantage of every fucking aspect of my life. Just for me being me. And like, what the fuck? No. Uh, why? Why would the fuck would I want to keep being a YouTuber for? Like, what is, what is, it's not, it's not enjoyable for me. It's making me fucking more mentally ill. And I don't think that's a good idea right now. Actually. Seriously, it's fucking stupid. There's no point anymore. There's just no point. If there's, if I can do nothing right, and everything I fucking do is bad, and everything is a conspiracy, and all I'm doing is funding fucking bullies on the internet, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I'll find another way to fucking make income. I always figure it out. And I will do it as an unknown person. I'm fucking tired. I don't know. I Anything to put up with this. Stop putting up with fucking this shit. It's sickening. Mm. Coffee racks. Yeah. Thank you. Rangoli's does have good paneer. Palak Paneer, but that's the only thing I like from there. Funnily enough. <laughs> yeah. I need, like, a change or something. Selfie pics anonymously. And <laughs> no face reaction channel on yourself. <sighs> There's things to do. I have to start thinking of myself. I, I really, I'm so fucking dumbfounded that people find it okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just, like, whenever I get to a point where I just dread going live sometimes or just... I think it's just even, like, being on YouTube is just, like, in itself, so mentally draining. Why? Why is it mentally draining? Because people bully. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to put up with it, because YouTube won't do fuck all about it. So... You have to just put, you just want to bees and go pick a fucking pumpkin out and you have to be fat shamed. You have to have all of your fucking content stolen and watermarked by someone else. So, yeah. But I'm not, I don't have a right to feel upset about that at all. And actually the fact that I am upset really makes people happy. Let that really sink in. It's fucked up. Well, why does their top terms of service say they can't target one person over and over? Hmm? Oh, it's there in fucking writing. I think I've been realistic in, uh, what, withheld striking for how many fucking years? But bullying and harassment is bullying and harassment. When that's literally what it is. When somebody stalks you in real life and then posts videos bullying you after. Okay, YouTube is just going to be like, oh, wow, that's just criticism. Are you fucking serious? You people are sick. Oh, I fucking hate. 
Anyone with that like-mindedness, please, I want to block you. I don't want you in my life. Yeah, every video being about one per attacking their family, um, saying they're going to come and ridicule this person at their show. Are you, like, there's so much I could go after her for. The fact that I even have to is what pisses me off. Like, at the end of the day. Ugh. Yeah, Sherry. <laughs> My favorite. <sighs> Even your haters want FFG strike, yeah. Fucking bitch. She's the nastiest fucking bitch ever. And she, in real life, she's horrifying looking. She has some fucking nerve. That's why she's so nasty. Whatever. Yes, I know I look like DLF right now. I don't care. Why are the Connors nachos cold right now? Oh. Hey, guys. No, no, that was a bad move. And I think I want to make a fucking reaction channel so I can bitch at these people somewhere else where people don't mind hearing that and then have some... I, I want to. Fuck them. Makes them look stupid. <sighs> I never asked for it. Well, sometimes I do. What do you guys think? <laughs> Anyone who supports FFG is just, of course, they're all trashy. Do you see their name, like their fucking comments? That's probably why they're butt hurt. I block them here. I don't want people like that in my life. Well, unfortunately, I guess that means good for her. You know, someone's pain is always someone's fortune. But what I fail to understand is how these people are okay sleeping at night with that. Like, that's how they make a living. Like, they're so stupid. But the world is full of shitty people. If I have to tell you, uh, Accountable Beauty, you're not okay. Why would it ever be okay to talk about someone's family? Or how they take care of their pets? <clears throat> Kaya's background. <laughs> he says bad things about me over, over there. For real. So why would I want that person in my chat? Can someone say exactly why I would allow that? Mm. so accountable said that okay goodbye and all of your aliases will also be blocked that's ridiculous it's ridiculous i let people like that in my life like just so like and i'm so nice to people always people who are just absolute fucking shit quality human beings and think it's okay just because you're anonymous what does that say about human nature <laughs> holy fuck You think fucking aliens are gonna want to visit us? They're not funny. They go too far all the time. Mm -hmm. I know. They don't care. Because 
Yeah, maybe unblocking like blurs the boundaries, VHS party. But I mean, I have a mixed opinion because like, you know, I don't want to hinder the growth of my channel, but if I have to for a while to regrow it or regrow it for it to have some regrowth, then I guess that's what I have to do. You know, I don't know. I guess I'll have to find other things. Maybe it's just not meant to be that I do this anymore. Maybe I don't know what to say. Okay, well, I don't want accountable in here. I'm sure it's upsetting that I block that person, but they are a bully and they say things that are actually very mentally distressing sometimes. So I would prefer not to have that energy anymore in my chat. Maybe at one point I was more tolerant of it and right now I'm not. So that's why I block and unblock. Obviously. It's not rocket science. Yeah, exactly, Hellfire. <clears throat> Good, thanks for letting me know. It's not it doesn't matter anyway, G, because I've seen things that they've said in the past. Um, you know. Okay, but chip skip that doesn't have any like the fact that you're deflecting and being dismissive of and like I hate people like this in my chat. Actually, I don't really want you in here because you're you you know what you've been very negative. So goodbye. Like you've said some nasty things too that I remember. I don't like like people that come back in here and I know like, I don't have a good feeling about you. So why do I want you in here? You give me a bad feeling. Why can't I have? trolls kind of like apple bees or dark desert highway people who are like beezers and aren't fucking totally fucking bullies like that they don't make me feel like a certain way i don't know like I don't, I don't, why do i have to explain that i feel that i feel a certain way like i don't know i don't why do, like you know what i mean it's why is it so dis it's just unbelievable that i would feel that way oh ugh. anyway Luke, we know I hate AB and I blocked her a while ago. It's a gay male, Lauren. Uh, AB is a gay male, Lauren Serpinetto. Is what he said. These nachos are so gross. <laughs> Light some candles and tell ghost stories. Yeah, that's a good idea for one night. We could definitely do that. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter because they were saying she, so I was pointing out uh, verbatim what they said. Every gay male put a one in the chat. I know there's a lot of them here. I know there's a lot of you beezers. I have a lot of gay beezers. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was confused a lot about my sexuality, but how many times does Chantel have to explain this? To dumb people, they'll never hear. Listen, so at this point, they probably just get a kick out of me just explaining myself because they're fucking stupid and sadistic. Like, <sighs> hello, Benedict. My pie art. Canada's got talent. Ugh. I need bed right now. I don't know what I want to do. I'm just kind of tired of YouTube right now. You know what I mean? It's just always easier to just fall right back into what you know. And I really don't want to. It's not that I don't enjoy beezing, but... I don't know. Like I said, it's just... Maybe I need a break. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks so far. Anyway, I'm super tired, so I think I'm going to go. <clears throat> Um, 
Yeah. Uh, my the bee I bought I've just been it doesn't seem like a bee well it's a beezer it's a bee but it's really comfortable to cuddle so that's what I've been doing this was a very good stream mm. <sighs> don't go to Kuwait without us I'm going. Where did I just put my eyelashes? <laughs> I immediately lose them. They get... Oh, they're there. I put them on a black surface and they're black. What kind of stupid idiot does that mean? Well, at least my stupid is different. We want more Vlogtober content. No more. Well, I don't want people stealing my Vlogtober content. Thanks, Leo Queen. Oh, really? Yeah, I just took them off now on my lashes. Oh. <laughs> Four looks. Like, that's just stupid. Like, why would I have someone in here who's calling, like, my fucking family racist? Get a life. They're so weird. I hate people who say weird shit like that for no reason. Like, those things, like, oh, it's just words. No, saying things like that and calling people pedos and shit, like, that can be detrimental. It's not funny. Ugh. It's tiring. There's so much trash on this platform. Fucking trash. And I'm I don't want to have any part of it. I have fucking nightmares, like I told you. These people are coming after me. I want them out of my fucking bubble. Stay 30,000 feet away from me. Fuck. 30,000 miles. No. Stay 30,000 miles. <laughs> Kilometers. Whatever. Stay away from me. I know, age. It's just such a daunting task. Like... I hate the YouTube reporting system. It's just so, like. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's, yeah, it's like the evil dreams in Cuba. Negativity demons. If she got being mad about my mom. She's so disgusting. I don't know how people support someone, like, going like that, going low like that. But she won't get away with it. I don't have to do it a few times, yeah. And then let her counter. Let her. Mm -hmm. You're right, H, I know. Mm, I don't know. Probably. Mass reporting got my channel taken down. <laughs> Let's go to church tomorrow. A restraining order. I would have grounds too. She has shown up. And there's that video of her going to Orange Julep. Even though I don't care what people say. She's fucking having an entire channel. A couple channels dedicated to me. Probably could get a restraining order. Even though they're hard to get. <sighs> anyway. The upside down triangle. Oh my god. Clean cheeseburgers. <laughs> That's hilarious. She's affecting your job. Isn't that grounds? Well, yeah, in a way. I would say I could probably argue it for sure. Are you kidding? But I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. But yeah, maybe not. Camus right. I don't want to have to do this shit. This is fucking stupid for me to have to do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I'm tired of everyone on this platform, pretty much. Except for, well, you guys know who I love on here. Everyone else, <laughs> I'm just tired of, honestly. 
It's so exhausting. <sighs> okay, well, I think I'm gonna go to bed because I'm falling asleep. Oh, I can't wait. You know, like four beaters, you know. Yeah, God's gift. It's just disheartening focusing on your content to have it stolen by someone else. Literally, if I bother to make a really good Halloween vlog or something, somebody, some fucking leech piece of crap will put a shitty fucking watermark on it and call it their content. What? What's the incentive here for me? And YouTube, and nobody does anything about it. Or actually, well, I'm doing nothing about it, so you know what? I'm gonna fucking have to follow up with it. Mm hmm Yeah, I don't feel like being on here when my channel's, like, under attack from everybody. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> yeah. All right, guys. I will see you later. I don't know when. I don't know, like, how I'm going to feel in a few hours or when I get up. I don't know. <sighs> Thanks, Forbes. Thanks, Jeff and Jerry. Don't bother arguing with bitches online that talk shit behind the computer, but smile to your face and smile for a picture. Literally. And look like fucking toads in real life. Fucking have the nerve. Anyway. Her fupa's her fupa's on her face. That's where her fupa is. Fupa face. Fupa face girl. <laughs> yes, that makes me feel good about myself. All right. Goodbye. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, sorry. What happened? Did I? Oh. I know. Okay, I didn't hit his thing. Okay. Okay, guys. Good night. I didn't mean to block someone. I think I unblocked them. Oh, yeah, there. Kuwait isolation arc. <laughs> no, Ava, you're not. Good night, guys.